Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be covering a quick video on my reps. Um, I own six at the moment. None of them are stock. I need to buy a stock rep. I just need to find the right one, I guess. Um, but I guess we're going to start off at the top. I'll move these on over. Let's quickly stack them. Well, not the top, I guess. This here is the cheapest rep I own. I definitely have less than 300 bucks into this one. It's a Tanto. Um, this was a premium, a green premium at one point. It has black, or it's called double black micarta scales from JT Designs. And it also has his spacers in it. These are the older spacers. Um, I do have his new spacers as well. But this thing flips so good as is, I don't want to change it none. Um, this is, it does have a little bit of play to it, a little bit of wobble. Um, I believe this one taps, but this thing is just so good as it is that I don't really care. It's light. Um, let's get the scale out for comparison. Get that zeroed. All right, it's in ounces. So this rep weighs in at 4.52 ounces. Certainly doesn't feel that way. This thing is pretty dang neutral. Um, and that blade just whips around super fast. I and mean, this thing's speedy. It's got the newer stone wash. I guess it's the it's kind of an older stone wash. Um, BRS changes their blade finish a lot between batches, uh, especially over years. So um, there's that one there. Let's start off. This here is a FM alt rep um, the scales were made by finger manipulation he's not really active anymore i wish he was i don't know the material on these i want to say it's micarta but they're so smooth and polished it's hard to tell um, and i don't think they get any grippier when they get wet i am running the stock spacers in this one um, this one definitely rattles uh, this is a pretty light rep coming in at 4.65 ounces i could have sworn it was lighter than that um, this thing is a joy to flip. I love this thing so much. I wish FM would come back and make some more scales. I love JT. Um, he's my go-to guy, but I still wish FM would come back. The edge on this was the first ever edge I did on a Ken Onion sharpener. And you can see that one side isn't bad and the other side is kind of nasty. Um, I did do the Cerakote on this, but I'm not a big fan of the actual pink that I bought. I like the color pink. I just don't like this specific coating. It's a pain in the butt. And it's always, it always comes out really funky. But, uh, yeah. This one here, I think I picked up the scales for 60-ish dollars. Maybe they were 45. And then the rep itself was probably $320 or so. Moving on, this here is my V1 rep. I believe this is the heaviest or the second heaviest of my reps. Um, these things were manufactured way back when. This here does have a select blade on it, which just means that the top is somewhat polished or surface ground. I think what they do is they blast it and surface grind it to get this finish. And the bevel is blasted. Um, this is the newest out of my reps. And I think it's also the least beat on. Um, I love the edges on this, comparing this to the bottom here. Uh, this JT does have similar scales to the Select. Uh, this thing is just way more blocky and bulky. Uh, getting down to the weight, we're sitting at 4.908 ounces, which basically anything below sub five ounces is normally pretty flippable even some of those like 5.4 5.6 knives just depending on balance um the liners on this were refinished by someone at some point in time it is a heat anna which i'm not a fan of because well they're super inconsistent you can see i have just one brown liner and like up here it's kind of like pinkish and then it fades to green it's it's kind of funky but at the same time i don't want to replace it because it just i don't know it just it's just as it is you know it's good enough um, these are expensive. Uh, I think I have somewhere around like 545 or 550 into it, maybe a little under 600. I, I paid a lot for this thing, but I, if I was going to keep one rep, there's a good chance it would be this one or this JT. 
Um, I don't really beat on it a ton just because of how clean it is. I didn't expect it to be as new as it is when I bought it. Every V1 I've bought, I've owned two or three before this, and they always had dings in them. It was a guarantee, but this one I haven't found any damage in the scales, which is really interesting because normally they're pretty beat on. Um, next one in the line, I guess we'll keep it with the G10 stuff. This here is another JT rep, but in complete contrast to the other one. This one has been Cerakoted black. Um, there's some offensive stuff written on it. But uh, this weighs, I think it's just like 5 ounces dead or 5.95 ounces. These scales are way chunkier. Um, this is supposed to be in contrast to a V1 or FM's. Uh, blocky scales is I believe what I told JT to try and mimic. Um, the edges on this are way softer than my V1 and overall the uh, what I say the the G10 is pretty soft. I I love this thing. Um, I, the Cerakote is you know all sorts of messed up. Normally whenever I'm at a meetup or some event, I just have someone like take a torch driver to it and scribe something on there. Um, getting down to the weight. 4.97 or 4.8 ounces, um, which is pretty dang heavy when it comes to reps. Uh, the balance on this is pretty dang good. Uh, it is ass heavy, but it's not super ass heavy. It is a little bit on the thicker side, on the blockier side, uh, but man, I love this thing. I guess one, or I have two more reps. This here is a turbo channel rep. I believe there are five of these made. One of them was lost in the mail, so there's four still in existence, and I own two of them. Uh, I believe Indiana John owns the other one, and Dirty D owns the fourth. This here, I believe, is my lightest rep, but I also said that about the pink one. Um, ooh, I got some crud building up on this. Let me wipe that off. <clears throat> but anyway, this here is also a uncrowned alt blade. These are pretty uncommon. There's not a ton of them floating around. I did own a second uncrowned blade for a little bit and it went onto a squiggle rep. Between the uncrowned and the crowned blades when it comes to alt blades, it really doesn't matter a ton. This tends to grip a lot harder when you're chapping and you can definitely feel the edges. It's kind of got that old feel like a bench made where they have the flat spines. Um, what else to note about this? This here is my beater of the turbos. That being said, I don't really beat on it a ton. The tolerances on it are pretty tight. Um, I guess some other tolerances. This here has a tiny bit of tap, but it's really just the blade alignment that's kind of messed up. And this one here shouldn't. This thing's my tightest rep. Uh, but this one here is ultra light. Or it feels ultra light, but you know the scale says otherwise. At four point five two five ounces, uh, this here is probably my favorite turbo rep between the, oops, between the two. Um, the balance on it is amazing. It's bouncy. It sounds good. Um, but man, I just you know these these were a defect or a defective handles. Uh, you can see the washer under one of the slabs, which is why I believe I got these for pretty dang cheap off turbo. Um, he made amazing work on them. Uh, I really love his handles and stuff. I, I, I like how all of his handles are different, no matter what you get. Moving on to the other final turbo rep and my final rep of my collection. This here is my channel turbo rep. This thing is perfect. I don't know what turbo was smoking when he made these, but... Man, there is not a single issue on the channel spacers, and uh, it's just clean. This one also, this one's a Tanto blade instead of that alt. This one weighs a little bit more than that alt does, coming in at 4.771 ounces. Uh, this one sounds good as well. Um, my only issue with this is it's a little hard to take apart and then people who flip it, I don't really care, but other people tend to, uh, dislike how high these Zen pin screws are set. They do stick out a little bit, 
which tends to bother bother people. Um, doesn't bother me none at all. And when I stick these smaller T8 black ones in, they're pretty flush. I guess I just have one random silver screw in there. Uh, but yeah, going back, if I could only pick one, there's a good chance it would be either this rep or this rep here. Get these off. But uh, that's just because I love the blockiness. The V1 rep is just so responsive. It When you want it to move, it moves. When you want it to fan, it fans. It also sounds pretty good. Man, this is dry. Let's throw some lube in there. I uh, I normally use blue lube. Uh, I know this is a Tough Glide bottle, but I emptied all the Tough Glide out because the stuff smells and it's gross. So throw this on there. It probably will fix the tap too because it's normally what happens with this one. Um, reps can be a little funky between each other. You know, with different quirks. No two reps are the same. Um, you can definitely feel that. If you just pick up two stock black reps, you'll notice a world of difference between the two. All right, the tap went a good bit further down. We can see the blade alignment on this here. It's way closer to one liner than the other, so let's just push this to the side, and then, yeah, tap gone. Just do this the right way. Oh, man, the bite is a little... The eh, bite's pretty centered. Anyway, it, just a hair of tap on it. Uh, the bushing is slightly oversized, which is whatever. They were stock bushings from BRS, so they're good enough for me. Um, but yeah, between the two, it'd either be this one or my Black JT. The Black JT does not get lubed at all. Um, I like it a little bit loose, and I like how it's a little sloppy. There are some knives that I like to have a little play in, um, like my Monarch and... You know, these are all mishmashed with if I lube it or not. You know, this one gets lubed, this one gets lubed, this one gets lubed, this one doesn't, this one doesn't, that one gets lubed. Uh, but between these two, these are so different in flipping perspective from anything else I own that they really just are in their weight class of their own. And that's what I love about them is you don't really get this experience anywhere else. I haven't tried anything else that flips like these two or basically any of my reps. Uh, nothing really compares to them. And that that just goes back to the fact that every rep is different. You can build them to whatever you want, you know. Oh, don't like the handles? I guess try and find your set of find, try and find a set of turbos. Um, probably pretty unlikely, but I know Gold Dust has been making some channel stuff. He's been making some aluminum stuff. There's I'm not really a big fan of them, but Foxfire makes liners. Hourglass does blades. Um, there's a I, I don't hate the guys at all. I understand, you know, starting off small, there's going to be some defects. I have had some issues with Foxfire stuff being a little sketchy. And then uh, Hourglass, I've had some handle gap issues on them. But I believe it's just from hardening or something like that, or the Zen pin on them slightly off. But uh, anyway, that's just a uh, quick video on reps. But yeah, I, actually, before I end this, I'm just going to keep, uh, this is going in as one solid cut. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you if you got a rep, you can always customize it to something new. Uh, even just new scales will make a rep feel completely different. These scales feel way different than any other stock alt rep. You'll never get this feeling from a stock alt. Um, even if it's a select or a premium or even just, you know, the normal ones. Uh, I guess... Before I go, there are two other reps that I do want to add to my collection. I want to find a Tanto Black Standard rep, but I want to find, I consider them to be, they're just a ton of different generations of reps. You have like these V2s, and then you have like the, or sorry, you have the V1, and then after the V1s were manufactured, you have the V2s, but you have this different blade finish. Um, this turbo has it where it's more, I guess, uh, grainy, and they didn't end up blasting them or stonewashing them, or at least not as hard. Uh, that's what I'd consider the V2, and then the V2 also has way softer scales. The edges on them are way softer. And then you have almost a V2.5 back in August or July of last year. They did a black premium drop, and all of the scales were super duper like rough. I mean, they just gripped onto your hands. They were like straight micarta. I mean, they had like little burrs on them and stuff. 
I want to find one of those, but no one really knows how to tell reps apart. And it's basically just going off pictures, which is a little hard. And then I also want to find just one of the standard V2s because after they made those rough ones and continuing on to this day, so it's been about a year, they uh, have become a little more brittle feeling. They're, they're harder. They're not really spongy. The original V2s are kind of soft and smooth feeling. And I want to find one of those V2s and one of the V2.5s. I think we're on, in my terminology, the V3 at this point, where they've completely changed the blade finish to more of a stone wash. Um, this one doesn't really show it enough. This one's kind of an in-between between that V2 finish and where they started moving to more of a stone wash kind of thing. Uh, but I want to find one of those V2s that has more of this finish like this one here, and then it has the softer scales and then one of the really grippy scale ones. But that's just something when I have the money to drop. But uh, yeah, that's a video or quick, not really a quick video, 15 minutes long on uh, my rep collection. Let's make something cool out of them. Or I wish I had more of them so I could play uh, like a Jenga or something, you know. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and... You know, if you feel like subscribing or you like the video, please do. Um, it does mean a lot to me. And uh, my Instagram is at cut.my.finger. That's the best way to reach me if you have any questions. And, uh, well, thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, you know, hit the like button or whatever. You know, new YouTube account, so analytics don't really matter too much. But anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you on the next video.